If you're a character-oriented writer, you can go directly to the character development area before doing anything else. Simply click here and it opens the character window. You can create a character by clicking on this tile, assign them a particular icon, give them a name, describe them a little bit, and then add them to your cast list. Then you can go to the Build Characters area and assign each character specific elements so that this character represents conscience and this character represents temptation, as an example. You can also see how the characters relate one to another over here. Click on the character in which you're interested and then you can see by the arrows how they relate to the character that has that same relationship in each group of four similar character traits. You can create character motivations, purposes, methodologies, and even the means of evaluation they use to determine how they're doing in their efforts to resolve their problems. You can assign character types, like protagonist or antagonist, and you can even assign typecast characters, which aren't archetypes, but they're stereotypes, like a bully, a nerd, a screamer, or a villain. Simply select the character for which you want to assign a stereotypical function, double-click, and that character now has that function in the story. Other features of the character development area are the delete character button, which, as it says, just click on a character, hit delete, and it's gone. The character info window is simply a way to highlight a character and get directly to that information that you've created, add or change information. In addition, you'll want to go to the main and obstacle window. Here you have the opportunity to create and modify the dynamics that describe the relationship between the main character who represents the audience position in the story and the obstacle character who represents the opposing point of view. Finally, you can go to the casting window where you can take any character and assign them any one of the 500 icons that come with Dramatica. So this character, for example, might be made to be this image. That way you can get in better touch with the characters while you're working with them in the software. But there are many other areas for helping to create and develop characters spread throughout the software that are not quite as apparent as the characters area. One of them is in brainstorming. Here you can select the character generator and when you do you have the opportunity to have Dramatica automatically create characters. You can also adjust the parameters that give you a little bit more or less manual control of the process. When you're ready all you need to do is hit the generate button and as many times as you hit it you'll be creating different sets of characters until you find one that you like. When you do simply hit OK and those characters are now added to your story, which you can verify by going to the characters area and seeing all of them listed here. And since we assigned automatically character elements, they also already appear in the build characters area as well. The story engine also has a lot of tools for story creation and development. Here, you'll have the opportunity to create the main character's dynamics. These will be the forces that drive, change, and evolve your main character over the course of the story. For example, does your main character change like Scrooge in A Christmas Carol, or remain steadfast like Dr. Richard Kimball in The Fugitive? Does your main character grow by stopping something that they have been doing, or starting something they haven't been doing? Is your main character's approach to problem solving as a doer who likes to try and solve the problem externally, or a beer who tries to solve it internally. And finally, is your main character's mental sex linear, male, or holistic, female? These four questions will determine an awful lot about how your main character works in your story. In addition, the whole bottom section lists a number of aspects of your main character's thematic issues. The problem that drives your main character, the solution to that problem, the focus that the main character fixates on over the course of the story, the main character's unique ability that makes them uniquely able to resolve the story's problems if they make the right decision in terms of changing or remaining steadfast. All of these questions go right into the heart of the story engine that drives all of the different features in Dramatica. And in this way, you can make sure that the characters are the driving force to determine what your structure will come out like. In the query system, you can choose among a number of different question trees that pertain to all aspects of story structuring and storytelling. If you're interested primarily in character, 
you can click on Story Forming Character, which will help you create the underlying dramatic structure of your characters in your story. Story encoding will allow you to illustrate or develop story points pertaining to the character. And story weaving helps you determine how to unfold information about your characters through an exposition plan. In the story points area, you have a complete list of all of the story points that Dramatic attracts, including a number that pertain to your main and your obstacle character and the relationship between them. Here you can go directly to those story points simply by selecting the item out of the menu. Main character, for example. Now, scrolling down the list, you find a number of story points in which you might be interested as a character-oriented author. If you're also a structuralist, you will have already created a structure elsewhere in the software, and the structural items will appear in this column. Looking at the structural item, you'll be able to then do storytelling about thematic issue that's of most concern to the main character, for example. If you're more of an inspirationist author and like to do your storytelling first, work out your thoughts and follow the muse, then you can come here before you have a structure and put in your thoughts about the main character's thematic conflict, for example. Once you've described it here, you can then later refer to what you've written elsewhere in the software as you make your structural choices. Once you've done some story structuring and or storytelling, you may want to check out the reports to see how those elements are working together. Simply go up here to the main menu and select Character Reports. There's a Master Character Report, which covers just about everything, Subjective Character Report, which deals with the relationship between the main and the obstacle character, Character Relationships for your Objective Characters, and a description of the interaction of characters in terms of the dramatic functions they represent. And don't forget to check out the Dramatic Dictionary, where you can get all kinds of information about characters, their relationships, and their functions in the story, such as the antagonist and the contagonist. Finally, the Help area not only has all kinds of information in the Dramatic Tutorial about how to develop stories which includes character information, but it also contains the entire 450-page book, Dramatica, A New Theory of Story, in a special online electronic edition including, in the elements of structure, a whole section on characters. More information than you probably ever really wanted to know.